to show ways in which society privileges some people over others. Take a look. I'm going to be asking you a series of 35 questions. If your parents work nights and weekends to support your family, take one step back. If you are able to move through the world without fear of sexual assault, take one step forward. If you can show affection for your romantic partner in public without fear of ridicule or violence, take one step forward. The experience today definitely helped me see the world in a different perspective. I kept stepping forward. And as I was keep going forward, it was like, am I really that privileged? I didn't feel like I deserved to be up there. If you have ever been diagnosed as having a physical or mental illness, if the primary language spoken in your household growing up was not English, if you have ever tried to change your speech or mannerisms to gain credibility, I'm from a small town in Connecticut, so I've heard like I live in a bubble because I'm white or because I have blonde hair, like, doesn't mean I should be in front of them. If you can go anywhere in the country and easily find the kinds of hair products you need that match your skin color, if you were embarrassed about your clothes or house while growing up, if you can legally marry the person you love, if you love, would never think twice about calling the police when trouble occurs, take one step forward. I'm already a double minority being African American, also being a homosexual male. I'm always like, expecting myself to be further back. If you can see a doctor whenever you feel the need, if you have ever been the only person of your race, gender in a classroom or workplace setting. It felt like those who were in the front were more comfortable. There was one female behind me. It felt like being a woman possibly come on with an extra challenge. If you get time off for if your you religious had a job holidays, during your high school and college years, if you have ever felt like there was not adequate or accurate representation of your racial group, sexual orientation group, I think one of the biggest things that I have counting against me would be just sexuality. It taught me that there's still a long ways that we as a society need to go. If you have ever been bullied or made fun of based on something you can't change, take one step back. Looking at the people behind you, it just makes you think about why people don't get the opportunities that I do. If there were more than 50 books in your house growing if up. If you studied the culture or the history of your ancestors in elementary school. If you were ever offered a job because of your association with a friend or a family member. Was ever laid off or unemployed, not by choice. If you were ever uncomfortable about a joke you overheard related to your race, ethnicity, gender, appearance, or sexual orientation. Take one step back. Thank you all for participating today. I'm very aware of my white privilege, but it really shows through when I looked behind me and most of the people in the very back were people of color. I was in the back. I'm not ever in the back of anything that I do. Being in the front made me feel uncomfortable. It's an awkward feeling to like be up there and know that like everyone behind you can look at you, right, but you can't look at them. I landed in the very back of the crowd. I was a bit surprised. I didn't have very much growing up, but I've always thought that there are other people who had less. I didn't know I was gonna end up in the front. The way I was raised by the border of Mexico, that I would be less privileged, though it's weird to know that I am actually doing good. I think talking about white privilege in a room full of white people is awkward, but in a room full of different ethnic groups, I think it's necessary. It's a very sensitive topic. You don't want to offend anyone, but it's true. There are racial and social disparities in America, and these issues need to be talked about. Okay, I, I found that really interesting, and I want to talk to a few of the people that were involved in it. Uh, Ryan, you wound up very much in the front, correct? Yes, I did. Uh, when you looked over your shoulder, what was your reaction? When I turned around and I saw everyone, in, like, everyone behind me, it was like, whoa, it was kind of... It really did prove the point that it does exist. Did you then, or now, feel like you've done anything wrong? It felt like I had done something wrong, even though I couldn't, like, pinpoint. Like, it felt like I shouldn't be here. 